I'm gonna lose it. Why is this not working? Like, I'm not meant to be a YouTuber. I can't. We're having some light and tripod technical difficulties. It's fine. It's no big deal. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura Vandenberg. Today we're doing some makeup. This makeup, more specifically. This everyday makeup look. Okay, here is the finished look. We're using this palette to create this eye look. Oh, that is very satisfying. <laughs> You're gonna see me drastically change from what I look like right now to this next clip with no makeup on, so here I am. I always start with putting my lashes on first. I know that a lot of people usually put them on last, but I do them first, because it just makes sense for me. So the way I do my lashes is kind of different, so I use my blow dryer, and I heat up my eyelash curler. The way I think about it is, if you tried to straighten or curl your hair with a straightener or curling iron that wasn't hot, it wouldn't do anything, and that's kind of how I see this. So I heat it up just to the point where it's warm. Before I go in and curl my lashes, I just wanna make sure it's not too hot so I don't singe my lashes off. All right, then I'll just go in, get them as close to the lash line as possible, and then curl them. My eyelashes are very hard to see because they're very blonde, much like my eyebrows. Then I'll go in and do one coat of mascara. So I use the Almay Multi Benefit Mascara and I always use waterproof. Doesn't matter what day it is, where I'm going, what I'm doing, I always use waterproof mascara because my eyes water um, from, you know, allergies, things like that, and I never want my mascara to run. The bottom lashes too. I don't have much for bottom lashes. Now that I've done one coat on the top and one coat on the bottom of that Alme mascara, I'm gonna go in and put the lashes on. Now these are lashes that I've already used once, maybe twice. Um, they're the Ardell Wispies. And yeah, they look a little something like that. Then to attach them, I just use the Duo Glue. So I just apply it directly to the strip. And you can find these lashes online. Um, or I just get mine at Target. Um, I have them at Walgreens. Then I'm going to um, use my blow dryer to dry them on so that they dry exactly in place with where I want them. The reason that I use this is like I said, it dries exactly where I want it to and it dries quicker. All right, so once those are both dried onto there, sometimes you can get a little bit of separation between the fake lash and your natural lashes. And that just doesn't make it look as natural. So then after I've done all of that, I'm gonna go in and um, take my eyelash curler again. I'm gonna get the fake lash and my real lashes all together inside the curler. I'm just going to lightly put them together. And then the first coat of mascara that you put on your natural lashes will also help kind of bind them together a little bit so that there's no separation between the two. So the next, I'm going to go in with a primer for my face and I use the Tarte Poreless. Um, let's see. I just do it where my pores are biggest, which is right around my cheeks here, down my laugh line, same thing on the other side. And it's completely clear. It's a pretty light formula. So it goes on really light. You can hardly even tell it's on there. Um, once you put it on. I'll just do the same thing up here. Evenly blend it and then just a little bit on my nose. Foundation, also use Tarte for this. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, full coverage foundation. And I just use it over my entire face. And the color is medium tan honey. And the number is 36H. It just looks like this. I got it at Ulta. It's probably one of my favorites. It feels pretty light, but you can also tell that it's there. And this is just like a Target cheapie. So I'll finish up with the foundation. Um, it pretty much covered this little blemish up here but outside of that, I think it looks pretty good. Wow, 
my eyebrows are really non-existent now. <laughs> this is just an e.l.f. foundation brush and this is e.l.f. flawless finish foundation. I'm gonna go in and do under my eyes. Then I'll go up into my temple like this and just sort of blend it into my forehead. Pull it down onto my cheekbone just a little bit under my nose and then come up to the bridge of my nose and under the eye. And I'll go underneath the eyebrow and then that'll be that for that side. So this is a pretty light contour. Again, this is just something that I would wear every day. To kind of finish it out, I'll take whatever is left and just make some really small lines here underneath my jawbone, most of this like jaw muscle right here, and then blend that through. And that'll really help to like highlight the cheekbone area once I start to put bronzer on and such. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and fix these brows and make them look like actual eyebrows. So I just have this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Pencil looks like that it's nothing too crazy i go in a little bit closer with a little compact mirror you can really see where i'm going and i start on the inside corner and then work my way out just follow the brow bone and then out to the end like that i don't have very many eyebrow hairs because when I was in middle school, I thought it would be a good idea to shave my eyebrows off to about here. And I'll put that picture right here. Yeah, that's rough. Um, I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea, but I thought smaller eyebrows, not just thin, but also like half of my brow would be a good idea. And they have never grown back the same. All right, so that's just going in with the brown. Brows are done, eyelashes are on, we've done foundation and contour. Now I'm gonna go in with this translucent powder from Too Faced. Um, use it all of the time. And it used to say Too Faced on there. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in underneath my eyes here to kind of set that. And this is the Too Faced um, Poreless Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder. But now I'm gonna go in and do the eyeshadow with the James Charles Mini Palette. Oh, there you are. <laughs> to be honest with you, I've never used any of these fun colors before, but I plan on it at some point, and I'll likely make a video using these kind of more fun colors as well. We'll see how that goes. But today I'm just gonna do, like I said, my everyday look. So something more neutral, like browns, maybe some blacks in there. Let's see, this color right here, just a super light for the inner corner. So we'll start with that. And we'll go inner corner and I'll kind of pull it out onto like half of my lid. I'm just using this like smaller kind of pointed brush. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, then going in to that inner corner here and pulling it down toward the bottom as well. All right, so both sides are done with that kind of lighter inner corner color. We're like brownish light tan color right here. Then we're just gonna do that on the rest of the lid and blend that in like so just using kind of a thicker brush here same thing on the other side then i'm just gonna finish it off with let's see today i'm wearing black so i'm gonna finish it off with just a little bit of black 
Um, and we're gonna do that on the outer corners and then into the crease of the eye. Use this smaller mirror inside the palette so you can actually see. Like I said, just going from the outer corner into the crease. Just a super light, it's not gonna be like a really dramatic black, um, but going from the outer corner. And just blending that through. Oops. And that will be kind of the end result there. So like I said, it's nothing too dramatic. I've got the black on just a tiny bit in the crease and then out to the outer corner. And it just kind of darkened it a little bit, still looks pretty natural. Then I'll bring it down just a little bit onto my lower lashes and then connect up here. Exact same thing on this side. And pulling it down just slightly and connecting it up into the crease like so. Um, next I'll go in and do my eyeliner. I use a liquid liner. So I just use the MAC um, liquid lasting liner. Got it at Ulta. Um, this is the point black color. So the brush looks like this. It's pretty pointed. I also think it's decently waterproof. It's not waterproof technically, but it does stay on pretty well. Um, I'll start on the inner corner and then just work my way out and do just a really small kind of cat eye. So there it is with the liquid liner. So after the liner is done, I'll go in for the bronzer and I just use the True Match um, L'Oreal, which I've been using forever. And I use, let's see, I use N7, which is just classic tan. Take it and just put it up onto my jawbone, like so, just to help contour that and doing circular motions up, always. And I'll go into about there. Using, using sort of a bigger brush. And I'm gonna go up onto my forehead and just go from the temple to the center. Getting as close to the hairline as I can, but not coloring my hair with bronzer. Same thing on this side. And then just sort of blending it everywhere lightly up onto the nose. After that, I'm gonna go in and finish my eyebrows. So this is the Almay Brow Styler, and it's kind of like mascara for your eyebrows. Just makes it look a little more natural. Um, and it helps actually color your um, eyebrow hairs. Okay, then the last two steps. I'm gonna go in with my mascara one more time. Do one quick sweep of the false lashes up top just to help them pop a little bit more, make them look a little more fresh. Cause like I said, I have used these um, once before. Go down onto the bottom ones and help them to match those top ones. And really pull everything together. And the very last step is always the lips. So I use the Kylie, um, this is shade Coco K. This is just the matte liquid lipstick. It's kind of drying. It tends to dry my lips out, but I like to use it as more of a, um, like a lip tint rather than a lipstick. So I just put a tiny bit um, on my finger and blend it in that way. So like I said, it's a little bit drying, but using it as a lip tint just gives it a really natural pinky color to your lips that will stay on, but won't require a whole lot of upkeep. And then just to kind of cap everything off, help it stay on all day, I use the e.l.f. Um, Makeup Mist and Set Setting Spray. And just a quick, oh. If you don't do that like that when you spray yourself with setting, Mist, I don't believe you. We've got the foundation, the concealer, 
the eyelashes, the very neutral eyeshadow, and the brows, and just a little bit of lip tint, and that will do it. That is the full, the full everyday look that I can typically get done in about 30-ish minutes, depending on the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come back for more. If you wanna see me wear cool colors on my eyes for once in my life, the intent is to one day wear these cool colors. And we will get there. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and you can follow me on Instagram right here. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs>